Hey everybody, it's Linda from The Crafting Depot, and I have been working on this particular page, which is kind of taking long. So um, I divided this into four sections, and what I'm going to do is use this in a journal. There'll be like little cutouts, and so um, I'm going to do the last one here and block this off so it doesn't interfere. So in this one, I'm going to do some really easy, easy peasy roses. And what all you have to do, oh, and before we get started, I just want to let you know I'm using the Kuretake paints. Okay, so they come in this big box. There's 48 of them that I bought. Um, you could buy smaller versions of this. You don't have to get ones, uh, you know, something this big. But, you know, when you're crafting and having fun, that's what happens. You get a little carried away. Okay, so what I'm going to do is use... The carmine, the carmine is like a, a pretty kind of red, or it is red, it's a version of red. And I'm going to maybe move the, move the paints over here this way. And I have to tell you, it's not easy doing this when you are <clears throat> videotaping. Because you have the camera right in front of you, and you, you have to make sure that you are not which I have been noticing when I go back and look at my videos, that I am covering my hand. So I'm going to try really hard not to cover my hand. And all I'm going to do is make these little C's and come around and around like that. And then I'm just going to go over it with a little wash, a little bit of water on this one. Make sure I don't go into the wrong one. <clears throat> and I'm just going to go in there like that. And then I'll do a couple more. And so I'm going to go over here and I'll do one here and around. And do another one here. There we go. And maybe we'll put in a yellow rose. What is this? <clears throat> Roses come in different colors. Uh, cadmium yellow. So I'm going to take from over here, I'm going to take the cadmium. Whoops, too much red. Let's clean that off. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just go in there with a little bit of water and we'll wipe that down. There we go. And here we go. So we're going to get the cadmium yellow. Wet it down a little bit better. And we're going to go over here. And we'll make a, maybe up here, do a yellow. There we go. And maybe what I'll do is put in some cadmium orange just to kind of give it a little, you know what, let's use the cleaner water. That's what it's for. Okay, clean water. And we'll just go in here and do a little. There we go. And we'll go over the yellow. Just make it a little darker. There we go. And we'll go in here. There. Okay, so um, I want to fix this. This is a little... Make this a little darker on the outside. And go over the other ones. There we go. And then wash it. Like that. And maybe go over this one also. And bring 
it around. And let that dry a little bit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go in with some leaves. So we're going to grab, which one do I want to get? Olive green. So olive green is right here. So we're going to get the clean water and we're going to wet it down. And we're just going to, okay, so the rose is coming from here and it's going here. This one's going here and this one is coming through and then we have this like that. So we have a bunch of leaves and then what <clears throat> we're going to do is we're just going to give it like a little wrap around and just bring this up a little bit more like a V. We'll do the same things with this one. And then just smooth it out. Bring that down, bring that out. There we go. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. <clears throat> this isn't going to be too long, hopefully. So I'm going to outline these again. Trying to make this look a little bit better. And come down. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is create some leaves. So I'm going to go in with... Um, burnt sienna and I'm just gonna uh, clean off this brush and I'm gonna bring up some stems, some more stems and this might be the wrong choice just using the tip and I think I did use the wrong choice. Let me go back to the gray green. I'll go over that. Okay, so we're going to go over that. The gray green. And we'll do the same thing here. I'm just using the tip of the brush. Okay, and then we're going to get some, some leaves. And I'm thinking, yeah. Okay, so what we want are some little spikes to come out. And then we want some leaves. It's a little tricky in here because um we don't have a lot of room. But you can see what I'm doing. Yeah, well, okay, so now the, the leaves on the, on, the, um, on the roses are usually a little spiky. They have like a spiky edge. So I'm just going to go in there like that because I'm really close to the edge of the leaf. And we'll do that. There we go. And it's just a whimsical leaf. And we'll do the same thing up here. Bring out little points. And the same thing on this side. And 
There we go. Okay, now, just want to kind of smooth that out. Smooth that out. There we go. Okay, and we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And I'm going to do a little, um, little branch coming out from here. And then press down and up, press down and up. And we'll do the same thing. We'll get some little red ridges coming out of the leaf. Same on the other side. Going this way, not the way that I'm doing it. Okay, there we go, much better. We'll go this way. Okay, we got it. All right, now let's do the last one. And the last one, we're gonna come straight out like this and up like that. Let me see, come over here, okay. And we're just gonna bring it up like that. And we want the, the edges to go facing towards the front of the... And this way we can go... Okay, we're going to fix this. And straight down like that. Okay, this is not realistic. Understand, this is just whimsical little leaves. So we're gonna go around this now and I'm going to pick another color. And I'm thinking, what am I going to pick? So I'm going to go in with this beige. Um, picking rose beige. So we're going, let me wet this rose beige. And we're just going to go in here like this. And maybe put a little... Um, turquoise blue. Take some little turquoise blue in there. And get some water, wet it down so it moves a little bit better. Let's wet the paper. I'm going to wet the paper, which will help the water, the, the watercolor spread better. And we'll get that beige again. We'll come in here and I didn't wet this side of the paper so I'm going to go in like this and just move the paint and we'll get that turquoise blue again and we'll just mix it together with the beige And then just spread it. And then when we're done with this, we'll go in with the um, black pens. And we'll outline it. Get some of that tur turquoise blue. Put a little splash of that in there. And then blend it. Blend it around. Okay. 
Okay, let's put the, let's go in here, in between the, it looks like I gotta go over it. There we go. I'm gonna get the blue again. And just put a splash and then spread it. And I'll fix the leaf. Okay. And then just spread this around. Put a little bit of water in here and spread it. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go back in with the beige and we'll go on this side. And get some water and just spread that around. Okay, that's where you have to be careful. You can see I wasn't as careful in here. I should have been more careful. That's okay. It can be fixed. All right. Let's bring that in. In here. And we're just going to Gently go in here and paint. There we go. Get the beige again. And we're going to go drop a little bit in here. And if we go over our leaf, that's okay. We just go over it again. Not a big deal. Seriously. Okay, which we may have to do anyway. It's not a big deal. All right. And we'll just blend that. And we'll go in here, blend. And I see that I went over the rows. So I'm just going to Take that up and take this up. There we go. Yeah, so everything is going well over here. I am painting a lot and enjoying it. I just want to get in here. And I just like the way that it looks when the background is not just white. So I'm going in here with a very fine tip. There. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just go back in that um, blue, turquoise blue. I'm going to wet my brush. And I'm just going to give a little splash here, a little bit here, here, and here. Then I'm going to go in with the water and just spread it a little bit. And I don't want too much water. Okay, just going to go around. Oh, I waited too long. We don't want that to dry. There we go. There we go. And you can see it's easy to spread. Okay. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to just get a little bit more of the blue. Going around here, 
and spread it. Spread this around. With the tip of it's really hard to stand up and, and paint. So there we go. Just a tiny bit more of the blue. And I want to get in here and in here and around here. And in here. And then wet it. And you can see both colors. Whoops, sorry. Very sorry. Okay, so it's coming along slowly, but it's coming. Get that blue. And we have to fix the leaves now. I didn't forget. So let's go in here. And in here. And it's starting to look a little better. Okay. I need to dry that. I also want to go back in with the red and outline it. That's with the, I didn't, I called it red, but it is, um, carmine. Wow. That's interesting. Okay. Let's go outline this around. Bring it around. Let's outline the others. We just want to wash in here. There we go. We want to wash in here. There. Let's see if we can do that in here. Yep. There we go. We're just going to give it a little wash. There. See what happens here. There we go. Okay, now what I want to do is go over with the cadmium orange and this outline a little darker. The cadmium orange. There we go. Bring this around. And there we go. And just bring that around. Okay. 
Now we need to go back and fix some of the leaves. They look okay, but I want to just there we go. And we're going to just bring out a couple of spikes there. There we go. And we're going to have to fix the others. Not looking as good. You know, it happens. Nothing to be like all freaked out over. It will be fixed. Okay, we're going to fix these two. I'm not crazy about the way this came out. Let's fix it. And fix this one. Whoops. I'm not happy with the way those came out. Okay. Let's fix this. We're just going to skip the pointed edges. There we go. And I'll find this a little bit more. There we go. Okay. I'm going to let that dry and then I'm coming back in with pen. So before I go, I noticed this one does not have a stem coming down. So I'm going to do this. And then it's kind of coming up like that. Around and there. I'm just going to fix this we have a stem coming out okay and then I was gonna go dry but then I changed my mind I want to fix these lines It's super hard to paint and stand up and bend over. Okay. And we'll just go over this. And we'll turn this so it's like that. this okay that's a little better you know what I, I need to outline that so I'm going to get the cadmium orange again just just outline outside like that the inside so you can see the swirls you're like looking down at the inside of the Rose. All right, 
Now I'm going to go dry it. Okay, so now we're back, and what I want to do is just define, you know, the circles in here. So I'm going to go around and outside like this. And like that, and around, like that, and then go around like that. There we go. This. And just take your pen and just go around. So the, those are the inside petals. And we're going to go around. Like that. And we'll do the same thing here. There we go. Okay, and we'll do the same thing on this one. And you're just basically going around where you, um, you're just tracing over where you painted. Okay, so I did the roses, but what I think I'm going to do with the, um, the stems is I'm going to go around this way because it's kind of dark. Let's see how it goes. Worst thing that happens is we just don't like it. But I think I'm going to like it. Okay, we're going to go down. Go around here. And up around the stem. Oh, I'm not even paying attention to whether or not you can see me. I hope you can. I getting I'm sitting down now, so before my back was starting to hurt from standing. So there we go. And we'll just outline that. And it's okay if your hand is a little wobbly like mine. Because this is a whimsical rose. Okay, so... I'm going to put veins. And this is going into a journal. Going up like that. I got a little fuzz on here. Then we'll go do the same thing down here. Just fix that, and maybe we'll do the same thing with the Pasca. Just do a couple of little dots on the, the um, branches. Oh, I see. So let me fix this. Okay, and then do inside here. There we go. And we'll just go up here with the Posca pens and around to show this whimsical look. And 
and I had fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, that's our, our um, last flower on this page. And I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you did, hit the, uh, hit the like. And if you'd like to follow me, hit the subscribe and the notification button so that you know when I'm coming up because I do a lot of videos every week. And with that, I also have a uh, paper pack, which has a lot of um, different papers that you can use in your journals, which includes music paper, avocado, um, coffee dye, turmeric, blue paper, and, uh, you know, envelopes, cards. I'm trying to think what's in there. There's a lot of stuff. I need to make a list of it because there's so much. Um, pictures of um, botanicals, birds, all kinds of things that you can use in your journals. So, and with that, I also have some journals. So if you're interested in checking it out, you can go either into the description here and see some of the videos, or you can go to Linda's Crafting Depot on, uh, I was gonna say on YouTube, on Etsy. So with that, have a wonderful day. I wish you all well, and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye guys.